Team Fortress 2 has been around for just over 13 years now. It's reached its peak players of all time as late as November 2020 for the Scream Fortress update, which then proceeded to get smashed by the 2020 Smithsmith update, with the highest number of players peaking at 146,000. So what is it about TF2 that gives it such longevity? There's plenty of factors, but one of the key factors for me is the variety found within TF2. I recently reached 7,000 hours of playtime in TF2, and the longest break I've ever taken from the game was a month. Damn university exams ruining my TF2 fun times. Back when I started playing TF2 in 2014, we had what was known as quick play, which is basically the casual of olden times. From casual, we already see a number of different game modes. Attack, defense, capture the flag, control point, king of the hill, and payload. Objectively the best mode. Then we enter the, god forbid, alternative game mode section with the payload race, misc, manpower, and pastime. Side note, please add RD Asteroid to misc, I miss it. So TF2 in its basic format already has a good amount of variety, but that is not all. We also have community servers. These can come in the same basic shape as casual modes, like a 24-7 payload server, Shout out to Oprah's petrol station. They can run what's known as vanilla maps to add in custom maps not yet made official by Valve. Congratulations, Fury, you finally made it to the big leagues. They can have various settings such as no random crits, who would do such a thing, or allow a greater amount of players on server, 32 seeming to be the most popular compared to Valve's standard 24 players. We can go further beyond this, however, to the wackier, more unique community servers that run game modes such as Saxon Hale, Freak Fortress, WarioWare, Dodgeball, whatever the hell this was when I played it back in 2015. And I'm sure there are some modes that I haven't even discovered in my six years of playing the game. But wait, there's more. Not that kind of more, but this kind of more. TF2's in-game competitive is somewhat lackluster, however there are external leagues if you want to get some virtual competitive medals. We have sixes and highlander modes in competitive, with more recent prolander format also emerging from the newer league RGL, and fours run by the older league UGC. Some of the most popular European leagues include E2F2L and UGC, while North American leagues currently include UGC and RGL. These leagues run two to three seasons a year of various length per format, somewhere in around several weeks per season. But you don't have to jump right in. Maybe you want to dip your toe in the competitive scene, get people yelling at you a little for no reason, and then be scared away forever. Worry not, there are places where you can practice competitive, not Valve, without risking the precious, precious placement medal of your Irons Force team. TF2 Center is a lobby site where you can sign up to whatever class you darn well feel like, unless it's medic, and jump right in after a 40 minute to two hour wait. There's also some pug sites such as pugs.tf, but to be honest, I'm not super clued in to how active those are these days. You can join the RGL Discord and join their pugs, though it will pretty much only be the Prolander format. I do actually recommend this last one though because they have mods present in the voice chat at all times, so certain individuals can't unleash their explosive douchery upon you whenever they feel like it. And then if you're just so gosh darn sick of all this variety we have, we have MVM where you can succumb to the monotony and repetition of killing the same bots on the same maps over and over again. Wait, was this supposed to go into the section of casual? TF2 also branches beyond these things to Reddit, YouTube, Twitch communities, much like any other game does. I'm going to follow up with a part two of my own six years in TF2, the people I've met and experiences I've had across the spectrum I just spoke about. But in the meantime, let me know how long you've been playing TF2 and what your favorite mode is, whether it's Valve official or only three people know about it.